It's there. The monster lurking in the shadows. Your storage area. You walk by it, hoping the issue will go away, but it won't. Guess what? You're not alone. Most museums around the world struggle with storage, but reorganizing your storage area can be an enormously positive, practical, satisfying, and strategic activity. Organized storage helps you regain control of your collection and may lead to some important discoveries. It's a brilliant way to review and improve your collection management practices. Engage staff and volunteers, build team spirit, strengthen accountability, and give you new ideas to connect with your community. So, welcome to Reorg Fundamentals. In the next few minutes, we'll take a closer look at Reorg, a method designed by ECROM, the International Center for the Study of the Preservation and Restoration of Cultural Property, with the support of UNESCO. The Canadian Conservation Institute, Canada's government agency dedicated to improving collections care, partnered with ECROM to adapt this method to your needs and help you reorganize your institution's collection storage area. The Canadian Conservation Institute is committed to developing a Canadian network of staff trained in reorganization who can help others. Reorg is primarily for smaller institutions with few staff and limited resources. In this video, we'll walk you through the process, offer tips and suggestions, and acquaint you with the primary resource, the Reorg Museum's workbook. Reorg is divided into four phases outlined in the workbook. Getting started, creating a storage condition report, building an action plan, and implementation. This workbook has been developed through real-world experience in Canadian institutions and in dozens of institutions all across the world. First, you'll want to create the best possible conditions for a successful reorg project, beginning with the self-evaluation tool. In less than an hour, the tool gives you a snapshot view of your current storage situation and helps you make an initial diagnosis. This tool will help you decide whether it's time to embark on a reorganization project or whether you're only a few quick fixes away from a functional storage area. In the Getting Started phase, you'll define your workspaces for the project. These will likely include a temporary storage area where you can move part of the collection so that you can refurbish and rearrange the original space. You'll also have to agree on a common objective – build your team understand what skills your team members have and what tools and materials you'll need. This is the time to imagine, as a team, what your museum could accomplish with a well-organized storage area. Now, very important, you'll document how your storage looks before the reorganization using photos and video. This will give you some powerful images for the various reports and presentations you'll make later on. In the second phase, the condition report, you'll document and analyze your storage situation systematically and prepare a concise and convincing report for your management that highlights the key issues that are affecting conservation and access. Remember, no meaningful changes can happen without management support. Floor plans will be one of your most important working and communications tools. Here are the things you'll draw up. An empty floor plan one that maps where collection objects may be located throughout the building, one that maps the storage furniture, one that maps where the collection and non-collection items are located in the space, and one that maps the location of building fixtures. When you look at your disorganized storage area, the very idea that you can create a plan to tame this monster might seem daunting and discouraging. To make it easier for you, Reorg dissects storage reorganization into four components – building and space, furniture and small equipment, management, and the collection. You'll be assessing each component using the worksheets. In building and space, you'll be looking for major threats to the collection. For the storage furniture, you'll be looking at space efficiency and whether or not it's suitable for the collection. For the management and administrative framework, you'll be looking for possible gaps in policies, procedures, and practices. When it comes time to analyze the collection, you'll be examining what you have by type, size, and number, and you'll be determining whether any objects have special needs. 
This is essential information that will help you make informed choices for your reorganization. The workbook is there to walk you through the process, and the worksheets help you to document, record, and organize all this information. By collecting this information, you'll take a fresh look at your collections. For instance, you'll have to identify which objects are most vulnerable to damage, and determine those which are most valuable to your institution, and you may find that these are or are not the same. To finish up Phase 2, you'll evaluate the collection documentation system, evaluate your small equipment needs, write up the storage condition report, and present it to management. There's a template to help you do this efficiently, so you focus your time on what matters most. Once you have your management support, you can move on to the third phase. It is the development of your action plan. In this phase, you'll use the condition storage report you prepared in the previous phase to plan your reorganization project in detail. You'll need to answer difficult questions like, how many extra storage units do I need and of what type? In the workbook, you'll find some great additional resources to help you work through those problems using visual and intuitive methods that are fun and easy to use. Reorg encourages you to think creatively about finding storage solutions. Sometimes you can reuse or adapt what you already have, making practical use of the limited resources you have, providing it safe for collections and for staff. Never forget that you can make significant improvements on a shoestring budget if that's what you have. It's now time to roll up your sleeves and begin making improvements. Through Ed Phases 1 through 3, you may have uncovered a lot of different issues, some you could potentially address in the short term and some that may require further discussion, planning, and fundraising. Remember that in almost all cases, you'll need to regain control of the space and access to your collection through what we call the physical reorganization. Only after this tidying up should you tackle things like a collection inventory. Use this reorg tracking chart very handy as your team does the physical reorganization, and don't forget to document the process in detail. From finding practical solutions to reacquaint yourself with your collection to engaging your team and involving your community, a reorg is a reinvigorating experience. The process also brings you into a new kind of family, from reorg's Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and YouTube communities to our network of trained trainers, to Reorg International, there are people and organizations just like yours out there, and you'll gain a lot by sharing your own experiences. Finally, don't be afraid to reorganize, to tame the monster. Many have been in your shoes before. The benefits are well documented. The tools are there for you to use, and our community is there to support you. Best of luck.